Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the 2022 Integra Quest Model 24L. So let's get started. Nice step bar here for the passenger. Speaker located right here. Below that there's a lockable storage area connection for an exterior grill below. Now this is not lockable and it is the LP fill. Big opening windows above. Big awning right above. Tankless water heater. another speaker an opening window let's check out the rear backup camera above this big window is an emergency exit tow hitch below seven pin connection Moving over to the driver's side, in the slide out, there's an opening window, lockable storage area. This compartment is also lockable and it has your water connection, holding tank valves, outdoor shower, and water intake. And there is the 30 amp plug-in. Another lockable storage area. And this lockable area houses the Onan QG3600 LP generator. Big opening windows here in the slide out. A step bar for the driver. And this is where you access your diesel input area. Take a look at the front. All right, let's check out the inside. Nice grab handle on the exterior. Power step also has this nice screen door. There's a window in the door with this pull up and down shade. Grab handle on the inside also. And here's what it looks like inside. All right, starting with the cockpit area. Basic Mercedes chassis. You have your touchscreen entertainment center here, four drink holders. Uh, there are three position memory seats. There's heated seats. And these are also power seats. Folding mirrors. You've got some more cup holders up on the dash, two in front of the driver and two in front of the passenger. Little storage area here, also on the passenger side. Right in the center, there's a wireless charging area for your phone, a, a 12 volt, a USB that connects to the touchscreen multimedia entertainment center and two USB ports right there. 
down here, there is another 12 volt. On the passenger side, there's a nice ledge to store some items. A couple more ledges on top. All right, let's check out the rest of the coach. So above the cockpit area, there's some cabinet storage above. Let's open those up. And they have pull-out trays. That goes back very deep. Okay. There's a little area here for a pedestal table. Over here, there's a big area that you can lounge in or maybe a sleeping area for little kids. Now this also converts into a dinette. Let me show you. So this is what it looks like when it's converted to a dining area. Good amount of space. There's even two integrated cup holders, one on each side. Now there's a seat belt right here in the middle and on this side too, and they are lap belts. Above, there's some cabinet storage. And they open up into one unit. Big window, pull down screen. And each window also has its own individual screen. Pull down shade. Some lights underneath. And the light switch is right there. Down there, I'm seeing two 110 outlets and two USB ports. Moving over to the passenger side, at your entryway, on the right, there's a leveling system. Over here, there's the power step on off switch, the speaker inside and outside switch, and your main power switch. Above, there's a control panel for lighting and awning, and there's two 110 outlets. Right above the entryway, there's this big TV that does swivel out. Let's check out the kitchen area. It's a nice big space. Let's start with the countertop. So the sink is a nice big round sink and it has this wooden cover tall curved faucet with a pull-out spray hose, a covered two burner cooktop. There's a window right in front and they have these blinds, the traditional kind, two screens and these windows go pop open like that. Under the cabinet, there's a light switch for these two lights under the cabinets. The upper cabinets have a good amount of space and it opens into one big space. Moving down, there's the microwave and it is convection. There's a drawer below, which is a very good size. And let's check out this cabinet space. That's a pretty good size. On the side, there's a cabinet. 
decent amount of space. And let's check out this freezer and refrigerator. So they are separated. And there's the freezer, good size. And the refrigerator is not too deep, but it is tall. And it's got one, two, three shelving areas and two lower pull-out bins. The door has three adjustable areas. Okay, now this is the bathroom. Let's check it out. So it's not a wet bath. The toilet is separated outside of the shower. So let's step in and take a look. The shower is a decent size. It's got this door, kind of a vinyl feel to it. One, two, three shelving areas to put your products. Nice little skylight. The shower head does not appear to have a start stop switch. All right, so the toilet is located right outside of the shower. And above that, there's a good size window that's pretty big with the screen and it pops out awning style. Now we have our vanity area with the mirror. There is a shelf in here and this is a pretty good amount of space. Towel bar below. Good amount of counter space for a bathroom. Nice little sink. And check out the cabinet space below. Decent amount of space. So here we have a switch for the bathroom light and the fan, which is above. And the Truma Aquago. They've also put these hooks up here and that pretty much does it for the bathroom. So now let's check out the bedroom area. So they've put this curtain here to allow for some privacy. There's a control panel on this wall over here. Cable and two 110 outlets. Cabinets above the bed. Opens into one big space. There's another cabinet over here with two shelves. And it goes back pretty deep. A window on the side here with a screen. And this one appears to be an emergency exit. So this bed is located in the slide out. So it comes forward this way when you have that slide pulled back in, but let's check the bed out. There is a lot of room here. It's a good amount of space and the mattress feels pretty good. So on the side of the bedroom, there's this big wardrobe area with a hanging rod. Below that, there's these really big drawers. <laughs> Look at that, that is a lot of space. And I'm assuming the bot, yeah, look at that. That is humongous. Now this is a slide out pantry area. One, two, three, three shelving areas. There's another air vent located right outside of the bathroom in front of the kitchen area. The AC intake is very low profile and it is ducted throughout. There's a speaker located here and here. And there are lots of lights throughout. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of the 2022 Integra Quest 24L model. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for some more videos. Bye for now.